opened this plant in 1992, if I would have predicted that we would have one last press, but printing two daily newspapers, people would have thought I was nuts. But look at it, look at it today. The plant was the center of the, uh, the merger. It kicked off a new era for the Richmond Times Dispatch. We print a product here uh, at night, and by the time we get home, it's sitting on our doorstep. That is, uh, I think, is an amazing task, and you know, not just too many people can say that you know they do that. When they first opened, the one of the things, my children, they were little, they came and did a tour. They loved to see where I actually work and how it was done. Every day we put out a new product. Uh, this is a little different in the newspaper business than the other manufacturing where if you make widgets, it's the same widget every day. Our widget changes every day with the day of the next paper. I could see the smoke from 3L1 got up to the building, it was covered with emergency vehicles, our people were outside, and the building was engulfed. No one was allowed to go in. Uh, you know, just sitting there, you know, everybody, you know, gloomed and not knowing what to expect when we came in, whether we we're gonna have a job or, you know, whether this plant was still gonna be in existence. I remember Sam gathering all the pressmen and the mailroom workers and saying, we're not going back, and they didn't leave. We only missed one uh, night where we didn't print the RTD, and that was the day that the fire broke out. Uh, after which we, we were printing, we printed the next day, which was on a Sunday, and we have been, been printing ever since. Uh, but it was a very sad and, you know, uh, scary point in our life when that fire broke out. Uh, we actually lost one of our presses, but we still have two and, you know, we're operating just fine. I still get uh, chills thinking about that, but it's what we do. We publish every day despite the odds, and those were huge odds to go up against. The equipment has changed, some of the people have changed, some of the demands have changed, some of the customers have changed. So in many aspects, its state-of-the-art qualities have not changed. And it still remains a remarkable building from a production standpoint. Equally remarkable is what happens here with the people, with the products, and the passion that goes into putting out the Times Dispatch. There has been a lot of upgrades from being able to go from running film to plates to coming out right straight to our plates, to also our color registrations, how we're setting color going from manually setting color at the press itself now to quiet rooms and consoles. Today, I'm proud to say that we can run 32 pages of color back to back. We can run a maximum of 48 pages with 32 pages of color. We look for ways to be creative and to, to do it on and be reasonable in how we do it. We always want to try to find the most efficient way to provide the best looking product in all of our projects that we do. Without Hanover, there's no time to dispatch from the printed format. And without Hanover, uh, we're missing a key part of our legacy and also a continuation of our future. Congratulations, Hanover, we're very proud of you. Congratulations, Hanover, we're proud of you. Congratulations, Hanover, we're proud of you. Happy 25th. Congratulations, Hanover, we're proud of you. <laughs>